What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm uh, I'm going to be in this for the long haul, I reckon. Uh, my plan of today is I've bumped up the erode multiplier all the way up to 20, um, which is the max you can go. Well, you, you can put high numbers, you can go up to 100, but 20 is where the game caps out. Um, so we've got the max erode on, and my plan is to try and run as many laps as possible. I'm not sure if I'll do maybe 50, maybe 100. And, and just see what state the track gets into, really. I'm not going to keep you on board for the entire 100 laps because that would just be silly. And uh, based off the length of this track, I think it's... Oh, it might be over... Like 40, it might be around 40-ish seconds, I think. Um, it's going to take the best part of an hour, like over an hour or so. Um, so I'm going to uh, kind of buckle down. I'll run a bunch of laps and I will uh, check in with you intermittently just to see how things are going. As you can see, there's probably going to come a point where... I can't ride around the track all anymore or I'm going to crash a whole lot because this do be cutting deep but the whole purpose of this video as well was really to see how the road changed with beta 17 you know the tyre traction changed and, and as such the road will change a little bit that was actually quite nice if you can say like in the uh, in the edges of it on the top of the rut it's absolutely fine um, but that will not be, be the case the whole time so uh, wish me luck um, I'm not sure when I will next check in but uh, you will see me in a second peace uh, one thing that I had not planned for, uh, I just literally just crashed and uh, you know that horrible noise you get when the game sounds like it's going to crash on you? I will probably have a game crash at some point if I continue riding in these routes, you can see already after two laps, they're uh, they're pretty deep. Oh, and I'm going to go over the handlebars ahead of a lot, I can already feel it, um, but that is, that's part of the fun, you know, we're going to see just how, uh, how ruined we can get the track, but if the game crashes, I will be incredibly unhappy, um, and I guess we'll just have to try and restart it again, or I'll just go as long as I can and, and see where I end up, really. Right, yo, so, I am at five laps in, just going on to my sixth lap, and it looks so cool. I'm trying to go on as much unused track as possible, just so you've got like definitive lines, but um, I'm, I'm already having to get a little bit creative. You can see it's a, it's a little bit of a struggle in some of these turns. I just, oh god, back wheel stuck in the rut. Yeah, I'm, you're having to be a little bit creative already just to not get stuck. Corners like this, where there's like one main outside line, I'm trying to stay in the same one the whole time, but as you can see, <laughs> the exit of it gets a little bit scuffed, but I'm wondering if there's, there's going to be that point where it's just pure pain, you know, I can't go anywhere, but then I'm hoping we get to a point where it will starts moving out again um, however I am worried that it, that's only really the case when you run a lower road and it's it doesn't make all of these jagged bumps like I'm getting right now and you can see just on, on the up face of jumps I should be having no trouble with at all the back wheel just does not want to go where you pull it and then you get situations like this where you have to spin around in the middle of the track then create some more rough that's just loaded in there and it is going to be an absolute uh I'm, I don't, I was, hang on, <laughs> never mind, I was going to say uh, <clears throat> a word that I would have to censor, and uh, you know me, I'm too lazy to do any extra editing that I need to, um, it is going to be chaos, let's put it that way. Okay, we are 10 laps deep, and I'm going to keep you on board for this entire lap so you can see what I'm working with here. It looks, on the surface, really, really cool, and if these ruts were smooth, I would be absolutely loving life. However, as you can see, they are very, very jaggedy, uh, jaggedy. that's uh, sounds like a weird word. Is that even jaggedy? Is that real? I think I meant, just meant to say jagged. Um, however, you'll, you'll find oh, every single jump is giving me a lot of problems now if I hit any rut that's been pre-made. Uh, there's parts of the track where I'm kind of like trying to square them off and go back across the ruts like here. Uh, I'm just trying to find any smooth part of the track that I can for now until I just, literally have no choice. Uh, every time I crash like this, I'm praying that my game doesn't uh, doesn't quit to desktop on me. So I do um, I like cross my fingers every time I crash and I have been crashing a lot and we're only on lap 11 we still got ahead of a lot, a lot of laps to go um, but I think we can all agree that it looks pretty bloody cool like this corner especially this corner is like riding so well like, I can genuinely take the same line twice in that one I'm not sure why it differs to other ones I'm not sure if it's just the power delivery smoother or what but really really good the finish line is just it's basically deceased uh, any rut that I take now tries to kick me over the bars or kicks my uh, back end out oh god you can see it's just it's even impossible just to try and go around slowly in a straight line and I'm wondering sometimes if more speed is key but uh, it's, it's really really nice this i tell you what this is going to do me uh, do a lot of good it's going to make a very nice thumbnail once this is all said and done to take pictures of this because it's absolutely crazy um if you have never played with 20 road um i 
rec I recommend that you do it. Uh, I'll put a little snippet at the end of this video on how you go about doing it. I do have it in other videos. Um, but if you're new to the channel, obviously you wouldn't have seen those. Um, very, very easy. You just have to open one file and insert a line of text in that file. Um, and it only affects testing, so it doesn't affect online or anything like that. So you can just uh, kind of do it to your heart's content. Oh, Jesus. And uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'm will. i going to force myself through some more pain. Uh, and then, yeah, I will check back in with you again in maybe another another eight laps or so maybe about the 20 lap mark right so as i'm uh, due to run out of fuel soon and we're just about to go on to lap 20 i thought i'd show you what i'm working with right now um i oh okay <clears throat> As you can see, it's uh, it's a little bit wild, and uh, as soon as I run out of fuel, I'm going to go back to the pits, obviously to refuel. Hopefully my muscle memory doesn't kick in and I don't reset the track. However, uh, I'm going to take that opportunity when that happens to uh, just fly around, and I'll give you little updates on what the track looks like in various bits, because I imagine from the first person point of view, you can't get a true sense of how rough everything is i mean it's shaking all over the place and i won't lie i'm very surprised i've made it to this point the noises that my game has been making when i've been crashing is oh it makes me cringe i i don't even know how to explain it it's just it's just asking to crash um so i'm very surprised i've made it this far i can't see myself getting to the end of uh, 50 laps 50 i think is definitely where i'm going to call it because it's taken me literally like a minute oh what last lap was a minute and 20 seconds so yeah it's taken me uh longer to do the short version on a rough lap than it is to do the full version on a smooth lap so that's how chaotic it is you can see i'm literally having to tiptoe my way around the track um i'm trying to find any bit of space that hasn't been used yet but there's very few and, and far between pits of the track like this where it's nice and wide and really really easy um i'm even going as far as going up on these like banks as far as i can as well and i'll just cut across these get into some more smooth ground let's hit the far left this finish line is what's giving me the most grief look just look at the entrance to it and it's hard to kind of cut down and try and find a smooth bit there we go just roll over that uh i think i've got enough fuel probably for like another maybe two, oh god two or uh, three laps in there and yes as soon as this runs out and I head back to the pits i will show you around in the replay camera just for like a almost like a halfway pit stop so to speak okie dokie pit stop time we are coming back for some uh, fresh tires and a little bit of fuel uh fill up the old water bottle see how that goes uh but if we have a look here look at the blood look at the difference in the lap times it started off at a 41 we was happy we was loving life and we've dropped right down to a 121 was our worst so let me hop into the replay and go to free roam i've got it set on my controller so you have to bear with me i'm still trying to get used to it a little bit so let's go over to the very very beginning uh funnily enough this corner here is probably the most rideable corner on the track i feel like the ruts do actually hold you a little bit and they're not as jagged as they could be so you can quite happily sit in this rut and follow this rut around it it's then when you get to here <coughs> and it's uh, it's a little bit of a mishmash i won't lie uh, it's pretty wild the finish line jump by far right now is the hardest one to hit um other than that one in the middle over there but i will show you this uh, it's what i would love to do is like to be able to come out wide square it off and then hit the left side of the finish but you, you just can't like the second you try turning your front wheel goes nah uh, I, I don't want to do that thank you uh, you can see my many failed attempts at clearing the finish line jump right here this corner it's, it's actually not that bad um, most of the ruts seem to kind of blend into each other so you can kind of get away with it i keep going further and further outside here to get up this hill but again it just it's it's good it's still rideable um and again here i've been going further and further wide just looking for clear space but again this is one of the corners that's actually rideable like uh, this this right here this right here and this this one these these are all usable um, they're not quite as sharp as the other ones are and you can see so i get bits like this on the takeoff of jumps where the very very lip isn't uh, it's not really eroding so i get to here and then my back end hits it and it's like brrrr, it tries sending me over the bars uh, come down here this is uh, a bit of a chaotic corner i'm getting further and further to the inside uh, i've even gone as far as to go right up on top around the outside here just looking for any bit of room possible uh, i was taking this main massive line right here for the majority of it um but you can see the exit of it now is just chaos and this actually this is probably just as difficult as the finish line because again everything kind of crosses over each other so even if i was to come out wide here and square it off to get this smooth bit you, you kind of can't because you have to try and get over this and it's oh, it's absolutely wild um i have a feeling if i land in this massive hole of doom then my game's going to crash instantly so i'm staying away from the left side of this track now and again this this corner's not too bad actually this corner's okay um, but you can see again i've tried going even even outside of the outside line just to try and get around the track and this jump is a bit chaotic can't really clear it um i've still been getting over this one okay somehow i don't know how when you have a look at it but 
I've been finding the uh, smooth lines. Luckily, this corner is uh, very, very wide, so still lots of places I haven't been yet. And yeah, that is uh, that's a lap there. I'm going to keep going. My goal is to it was to go to fifty. I'll see how long it takes me. I might call it a like forty or when the game crashes, whatever happens first. But yeah, I will check in with you again shortly. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. Today we are playing Hell on Earth in MX Bikes. Uh, this, uh, this is my uh, this is my thirtieth lap check in. Um, God, oh, this is becoming a little bit tedious. I won't lie to you, boys. Uh, I'm rich. I'm very, very quickly running out of uh, places to try and avoid any rough. So I'm just have to try and deal with it as best as I can. Uh, this hill that I'm coming to now, I have had to push the bike up this hill the last four laps in a row. So let's see if we can make it five. Although I'm up and over. Oh, get into second gear. God damn <laughs> Went down into bloody neutral. Ah, but, yeah, there we go. This is the first first lap in the last five laps. I managed to get around that, so, or up that hill without having to push it at the top. This will be very, very gentle. One thing, if, if I was to take any sort of positive out of this uh, experience so far, it's being very helpful in teaching me throttle, like more throttle control. Because uh, literally the whole track is pointy bumps. Like, the back wheel, the second you put the throttle on, will spin up and and slide out on you. You've got to be so delicate on the throttle everywhere. And I want to see, last lap, I managed to do a very sneaky line. Can, I'm not sure if it will it show my rut. It will. So I kind of cut down here, went across all of these ruts somehow, and got the smooth line here on the left. And I, was, I felt so proud of myself when I done it. I was like, there you go, there's pro, uh, pro enduro rider right then. And one thing that I thought of whilst I'm riding around here, how fun it would be. Like I say fun, how different it would be to do an event with a bunch of people on whatever track it is um, and just crank the road up like a ton. I know there's higher road races as there is, but nothing to this extent. Like the ruts don't get like this. And I just imagine it'd be quite fun, like survival of the fittest, you know, and the only downside I could potentially see is maybe like half of the people finishing the race that started it just from game crashes, um, which is a bit annoying. That's why uh, Peloso needs to uh, update. Oh, the game crashes a little bit more. Let's go. Let's go all the way over here. Let me try and get a bit of a run up. Oh, that's a much better line. Go on, make it, make it, make it, make it. I'll oh, stay away from the bloody green fencing. They are my enemy. Um, but yeah, so we are 30, 30 laps in. I think I might just try and stretch out to the 50 I originally planned because. Let's be honest, 50 sounds like a much better number than 40, doesn't it? And I'm sure it'll make the title of the video sound better as well. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's a very painful experience right now. I am tiptoeing my way around, um, riding as slow as humanly possible, even slower than me in real life, I know. Um, oh, by the way, this weekend coming up, I am hoping to take my GoPro riding with me. It's the first time I've ridden in months and months and months, so you have to cut me some slack. Um, I'm just hoping they let me wear it, because a lot of uh, places in the UK are very strict around wearing cameras when you're riding, so we shall see. Um, but yeah, on to the, uh, the next 20 laps, and wish me luck whilst I put myself through absolute torture. Okie dokie, it's time for the lap 40 check-in. As we cross the line here, we're going to head on to lap 40. Um, I've basically become numb to all point. Uh, well, I've, I've become numb to all pain at this point, you know. Uh, life is meaningless, the outside world doesn't phase me, I feel nothing. This is, this is a painful experience. <laughs> Um, the lap times now are taking <clears throat> about 1 minute 20, 1 minute 30 each, uh, which is uh, over over double what you should be doing on Forest Short. Um, some parts of the track, funny enough, are actually coming good. Um, like this outside is becoming a bit more rideable now if I just stand up the whole way round. Um, the outside here has been treating me quite well. Watch me, uh, this is probably the lap where I absolutely balls it up. But now look, it gives me a good bit of momentum to get up and over that crest. And I'm doing a little, little uh, I'm being proper cheeky over here. So coming down here, outside of the outside, square her off. And then over to the far left where it's uh, smoothish. And then hug the far left all the way down here. I'm not sure why the far left down here isn't doesn't seem to be eroding as, as jagged as the rest of the track. It still feels rideable, um, but I'm noticing that like second, third gear, kind of quarter throttle everywhere, bogging it, making sure the bike's tracking seems to be the way to go so far. This is oh, this is a little bit of a cluster at the moment, and the last straight. This line that I was doing that was working for me is slowly starting to uh, disappear as well. But oh, go on, get me over there. Just up, up and over, up and over, up and over. Yeah, there we go. Over the hole of doom. Oh, I'm sucking the hole of doom. Thank you. 
Probably should have tried to avoid that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So I've literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the 50 minute, uh, 50 minute. I mean, it would have been over 50 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna go to the 50 lap mark. I feel like I'm committed at this point. I need to see it through. So I will check in with you for the uh, 50th and final lap, and then I'm praying my game doesn't crash within the next 10 laps. Wish me luck. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I'm not sure how I've ended up like this. Um, please help. Oh god, can I just can I hard reset here? Will it spawn me away from this massive hole? Oh thank god. I was I was wondering if that was the end of the road, boys. We're getting close. I've resorted to having to push you up with this bloody hill again. I got excited because I thought I was right at the end. However, um the last lap that I'd done and a lap a while ago didn't count because if you remember, I had to go back to the pits to refuel, so the lap just doesn't exist and when I went across the line again straight afterwards it starts the next lap so I actually need to complete 52 laps at the top left rather than 50 so I am still close we're almost there I can smell the finish line I'm just hoping we can make it through to the end oh, I don't believe it my games crash on the very last lap what oh my god I'm, at, oh, uh, I'm just joking by the way. Uh, I thought you boys might want to uh, join me on this last lap as I try and make my way around the track. Um, lap, it says 52 at top left, but it's actually lap 50 out of 50. Uh, I, I'm going to see, once I get in a straight line, if I can do this last lap at an actually like moderate pace, because all the other laps I've been trying to be a little bit precautious just to make sure I don't crash my game, but I think we just may as well just send her this last lap, and as soon as this lap's done, I'll do a final uh, fly around of the state of the track just so you can see what it all entails. It has not been a fun process this last uh, <laughs> this last half hour or so. Started off really good, ended uh, in just despair. I've just been like sat here blankly staring at my screen, going through crash after crash, and having to push it up hills and get stuff like this happen and let me just go in a straight line please um that being said though if this is well enough received i might do this on another track now what i am gonna say is i am bloody happy that i done this on forest short not forest long because i would be here for the entire night if it was forest long trying to get some laps in um because as we can see my lap times have essentially like times by two and a half in length um but overall it's not been a terrible experience i'm just hoping that i can bring it home let's get up and over that and uh, as soon as this lap is done i will fly you around just to view it and then if you stay to the very very end i will show you how to do this to your own game should for whatever reason you want to try it yourselves so let's bring it home come on i'm going to hit that line i was trying to do one last time here so oh no okay <clears throat> track had other ideas let's just keep it going this way and finito there we go there is 50 laps oh let's go to the replay okie dokie so the final product i'm just going to fly around the entire track and i want to get low to the ground here so you can kind of see what we're working with in terms of roughness see how like near impossible this is to ride over but we're gonna have a ride around there's still parts of the track that obviously i haven't touched uh, for the most part like here i just end up getting in a rut to be completely honest with you i'm actually gonna take a screenshot of that that looks like good screenshot material um so we'll carry on uh going around this was awful i've no idea what causes this to deform in this way i'm guessing there's an ever slight amount of rough uh as you go into this corner second to worst jump by far near impossible to go over that at the end you can see all of my failed attempts here with uh just a death hole uh if we carry on round, this corner was actually not too shabby at all up and over this hill which again wasn't too bad this corner got a little bit tricky towards the end but again it, it wasn't uh, it was not the end of the world up this little drop down this corner actually it looks terrible uh, if you filter over to the far left here into this main line you could just stand up and follow this route i have no idea how and this hill this is the one that I will see in my nightmares. It, oh, I, I, was, I must have pushed it up 50% of the time uh, at the end. Uh, this corner again wasn't too terrible. Got stuck a few times in some of the massive death holes. But overall, this was an interesting experience. That's the right word to use. It was interesting. Um, I will now show you how to do this if you want. So yeah, stick around for that. And yeah, catch you in a second. Okay, so if for some reason you're wanting to do this for yourself, if you go to your Piboso folder and then MX Bikes and Profiles, if you open whatever profile you use, mine's just called Unnamed, right click on the Profile folder, 
open it with either notepad or notepad plus plus completely up to you now if you scroll down you will finally come to this testing section right here this is the line of code that you're going to want to enter in by default it will look like this so if you just press enter and then paste this in here i will put it in the description for you as well and save that next time you open your game you'll have the 20 times zero done best of luck i hope you enjoyed the video please do drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new and until i catch you guys in the next video peace my tent way too damn dark laugh in your face like man dark came a long way from the bad days way back had to burn down that landmark seen some things i didn't really want to see it's all good that's what made me me now who would i be if i had it easy used to break down now i'm in a 350 like whoa i've been laying way too low had to switch up and change my flow because i'm back from the block and the bust the rocks and dust off the dust and get back in the box now why you want to